Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to do a quick unboxing of Rent-A-Girlfriend Limited Edition by Sentai Filmworks because it is actually currently on sale at Right Stuff. So if you guys like what you see here, maybe you guys can make your decision on whether or not you wanna purchase this limited edition. It is going right now for $99 during the fifth week of the Right Stuff anime holiday sale. So definitely go check it out if you guys are interested. I'll leave an affiliate link down below if you guys could use that. It would definitely help out the channel and future giveaways. So let's go ahead and get into this box set. I've had this one for a while now, but I, I honestly, I totally forgot to do an unboxing for this one. I opened it up and I actually started watching it and I saw, I've seen up to episode 10 at this point. I just need two more, but uh, then that's when we got into the move and I just haven't had a chance to go finish it. But not gonna lie, I I enjoyed it for what it was. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's basically a series about our main character, which I forget his name, but he basically gets dumped at the beginning of the series by this girl right here, which her name is Mommy. Nobody loves her. I definitely don't like her after seeing the first 10 episodes of the anime. I just need two more. I haven't finished this one, but yeah, she breaks up with him and he is pretty much miserable after that and he decides to get on the Rent-A-Girlfriend app and see what it's like to have a fake girlfriend and he decides to rent Chizuru. Uh, they go on a date, he has a blast. They go on a second date, he rents her again and then that's when things kind of get a little bit more complicated because they end up both having to lie to their families about them being boyfriend and girlfriend and they get, just get stuck in a web of lies and it made for an entertaining watch. In my opinion, I enjoyed what I've seen so far from the first 10 episodes. Uh, my favorite girl out of all of them has to be Chizuru. I, even though a lot of people tend to not like her because she pretty much keeps charging our MC every time they go on a date. And I think eventually down the line, even when she starts to like him, she still keeps charging him from what I hear, I think. Um, but I don't know, out of all of the girls, I mean, Rika, I think that was her name, Riku Rika. She pretty much tried to blackmail him the first couple of times that they met. And then Mommy, she's just horrible. She's definitely my least favorite of the bunch. And I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really seen too much of her. I think she she was introduced in episode 10 and we're gonna focus more on her on the next two episodes. But yeah, out of all the girls we've met so far, Chizuru, definitely the best. But enough about the anime, let's go ahead and talk about the box set. So the artwork on the box set does have a glossy finish on all of the characters and on the title of the anime, which looks very nice. Although uh, the box set itself, I don't know if you guys can see, but mine has a little bit of a bend, which does kind of bother me. It's not quite as rigid. Um, I think that might have happened during transit, though. Something might have squished a little bit and it kind of remained in this state where it's kind of curved here on the front side. Uh, my box set also does have a little crease right here, which again, I think that was just caused by whatever it was that was compressing this box set. But I do think it's worth mentioning because these box sets um, are susceptible to this type of damage. Uh, here is the bottom. It does have some of the Blu-ray information. We have on only stereo audio for both English and Japanese audio. It does contain 12 episodes on two discs and the rating is TV 14. Going inside, we get, get the Blu-ray case with some beautiful artwork here of Shizuru on the front. Here's the spine. And then here is the back. Disc one has episodes one through nine, and then disc two has episodes 10 through 12, and some of the special features. Going inside, we have some beautiful artwork on both disc one and disc two, although um, I would have preferred they put Rika. Man, what is her name? <laughs> I, keep, I think that's not right. All right, I looked it up. I would have preferred they put Ruka here. Uh, behind the artwork, uh, we have another ugly image there of Mommy. So this one is reversible actually. As you guys can see, this is the artwork from disc one. And then if you wanted to reverse it and showed Mommy for anybody want to do that, uh, this is pretty much the artwork from disc two. So it is interchangeable. Very nice, you can put your best girl on the front. I'm assuming season two might have some of the other girls on the artwork for these things. Um, but yeah, that's it for the Blu-ray case. Uh, we also get a little flimsy booklet here. Artwork very lackluster here on the front and on the back, but on the inside, uh, you do get an episode guide for every single episode. And then we do get some character art going through all of the girls in the season. And then we 
just get some beautiful artwork. You see, they could have just put that on the disc instead of mommy. Nobody wants mommy. Uh, but yeah, very nice artwork throughout this booklet here. For the extras, we do get Ruka here on the box. And we get, um, what's the other girl's name? And Sumi here on the other side. So all of the girls are featured throughout the box set. Um, inside here, what do we get? I kind of, actually, I forgot what we got in here. Okay, so we have some pins. We get a stand, what is this? Uh, I guess a phone stand? And we get some stickers of each of the girls. For some reason, they decided to put Chizuru in her bikini here. While all the other girls are fully closed. But yeah, very nice uh, extras. Uh, what, is this a phone stand? Let me, let me put this up, let me set this up. Okay, so yeah, I think it just works like this. It kind of just bends over and you can put your phone on there or something uh, if you really like rent a girlfriend like that. So uh, yeah, that's everything that you get with the limited edition. You guys can decide if it's worth the $99. Me personally, I would honestly say it's still not worth the price. Unless you're really worried about this box set going out of print pretty soon, but 99 bucks is still pretty excessive for what you're getting here. Again, it's just Sentai Filmworks increasing their prices for all of their limited editions, and this one in particular, I don't necessarily think it's worth it. Also, just to mention, this phone stand did come kind of scratched on one side, actually very scratched on one side, uh, probably because they actually packaged both of these two things together in this bubble wrapping material. So uh, yeah, that's just my opinion, but I'll let you guys decide if you really wanna pick this one up. But uh, I think that does it for this limited edition unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.